Hey there creepy peeps and welcome to another stale movie review. Today we got an anthology for you. I don't know why I say we because it's just me doing this. I have an anthology for you. Uh, we're going to be talking about Minutes Past Midnight. As midnight falls, all manner of terror invades the earth. Demons, cannibals, killers, ghosts, and monsters swarm the world in these tales of supernatural, in these tales of the supernatural, God, Vicky, read much, the fantastic, and the just plain horrific. The summary is a little misleading. I feel like uh, the summary of the movie suggests that these shorts are connected. They aren't. Um, <laughs> not that that means it's a bad thing, but just let me just put that out there, that they're not connected. Um, minutes past midnight doesn't seem to be a reoccurring theme, so. <clears throat> um, since there are so many shorts in this anthology, there's a total of nine. I'm not going to analyze anything because it's just so hard to go back and pinpoint all the, all the aspects of the different shorts that I liked because they were all done by different directors, writers, that sort of thing. Um, so they... <laughs> They all look different. They all feel different. Not gonna, not gonna worry about it. Maybe if there weren't so many <laughs> shorts, I would. But there's nine of them, you guys. Um, so I'm just gonna go through and review them. At least the ones that stuck out to me. Um, the first two shorts in this film just did not connect with me at all. I hated them. Um, they were Never Tear Us Apart, uh, directed by Sid Zanferlin and Awake by Francisco Sonic Kim. Um, those two just did not jive with me. They didn't connect. I hated them. Uh, <laughs> I thought they were really, I thought Never, what was it? Never Tear Us Apart um, was just like really all over the place. Like I just, I think it was supposed to be funny, but I just, maybe it just, maybe that's where I lost it. I just didn't find it funny. Uh, the cutest, cutest short in this was Crazy For You, which is directed by James Moran, and it was starring Arthur Darville from Doctor Who, if you've ever seen Doctor Who. Uh, he was Rory. <laughs> um, loved, it, was, it wasn't like, it wasn't scary at all. Um, it was just like a really cute story about a serial killer that uh, falls in love, and the humor comes from, uh, <laughs> Uh, what triggers him is polka dots and if you watch the short you'll see where that goes in the movie but it's so damn cute just really cute um, my favorite ones had to be the mill at calder's end which was directed by kevin mcturk which was a completely like i don't want to call it animated but it was um puppetry i thought it was uh animation at first when it started and then i noticed that um I, I will just say the, the puppets in this, for the first like <laughs> two shots that you see the main character, I thought it was a real person. <laughs> um, they looked so good. Um, and it, like I said, it was puppetry. Um, and if you've ever seen Team America, it <laughs> when, when you first see the puppets walking in this short, it, it immediately clicked. I was like, Team America, that's what this reminds me of. Um, it was just like that, like the marionette type puppets but it looked amazing the set looked amazing it had a very gothic feel like the story did um and the the setting and the <laughs> and the kind of muted colors and everything had like a gothic feel to it and it felt um it felt like an edgar Allan poe story that we were watching um i really loved that one and my absolute favorites were roid rage which was directed by ryan light lightborn and Horrific, directed by Robert Buchek. Hopefully I'm saying all those right. Um, <laughs> funnily enough, I always say I'm not into like Jilo films, but this, the first one, Roid Rage, was definitely a play on that. The dubbing was terrible. It was just ridiculous, like blood splatters everywhere. Um, and Roid Rage is not what you, <laughs> what you think it would be. Um, it's not steroids, it's hemorrhoids, um, which, if that tells you anything, the entire short was butt and poop jokes. <laughs> so if that says anything about my maturity level, I found it hilarious. Uh, <laughs> and then Horrific was another funny one. It definitely had a lot of elements of comedy. It was a chupacabra story, which is awesome. We never get chupacabra anywhere. Um, so I was really happy about that. And it's very um, slapsticky. Uh, 
flat sticky that's that's a funny word um and it definitely had a like a gremlins kind of feel to it i loved it <clears throat> so of course i'm going to recommend you watch it it's an anthology so there's something for everybody in there <clears throat> um so i'm going to give it four poop jokes out of five um imdb is the only place i could really find a rating um at least like kind of like from the popular sites you know popular rating popular movie rating sites that's what i'm trying to say has a 6.1 out of 10 um but i'm definitely going to go through and read some more reviews on that and see if anybody talks about those first two shorts because maybe i just didn't get something but i thought they were awful um so if you've seen minutes past midnight let me know in the comment section down below what you thought about it i got this in a horror pack cannot remember which one uh <laughs> but it was in a horror pack um so let me know your thoughts on that in the comments section you can follow me on all my social medias and stuff down in the description box thank you so much for watching this video i hope you enjoyed it if you're new here subscribe and become a creepy peep today and until next time stay strange bye